gamers, welcome to my boulders. So we've done videos where we have to avoid colors in all the mainline Mario games, as well as the Mario Kart games, but today we got something a little bit different. We're going to be doing all 17 Mario Party games, not including Mario Party E, the card game that doesn't really count. And the objective is to just not roll a 10, period. You know, we can see the number 10, we can see the letters 10. That's all fine. We can have 10 coins, 10 stars, doesn't matter. It's all about rolling a 10. If that happens at any point, we switch games. So go ahead and do all hard mode. And uh, let's pick, uh, you know what? Let's go with Peach's birthday cake. Why not? Go ahead and do 20 turns. Because let's be honest, we all know how these videos go. It doesn't last very long. Okay, so as long as none of us rolls a 10, we'll be able to actually play. Because, of course, we're going to start by trying to determine that. 8, 4, 2, 6. Yes, we are in. We're good to go. So, honestly, what I'm really curious about is when we get to the later games. Because I know in the later games, the dice rolls are only 1 through 6. But you can get double dice rolls, which can still equate to 10. So... I'm really curious how this is, like, it's the later games where things are going to get interesting. Here, it's like, well, 10's probably going to happen eventually. Hopefully not this time. Okay, 5. I like that. That's good. Okay, maybe I don't like it that much. Okay, don't you dare get it. Really? Really, game? We can't even get through one turn without rolling a 10? Are you serious? Okay. We're on to Mario Party 2. Western Land. I've always loved how Mario Party 2 has, like, custom outfits. For all the characters, that's such a nice touch. It's it's like it's too bad like it does, you don't see this in the newer Mario parties, you know. It's I think it's only this one where the characters actually look different depending on the board. All right, no tens, baby. Four, five, two, one. Let's freaking go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, here's you know what? Here's the goal. If we can get to one star before rolling a ten, I feel like that is an accomplishment on its own. Like maybe that's just like the goal. Maybe that's what we should try to do. Try to get a star before anyone rolls a ten. Like that in itself. It's gonna be really difficult. Let's see how this goes, though. We got a seven. Okay. Okay, as long as I don't get one, we're good. Yes! Okay, as long as I don't get one, we're good. Okay, we actually made it through a turn. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. We went ahead and zucked DK, which is pretty nice. So there we go. A bunch of coins. Now we have enough coins for a star. So here's the deal. I, I just thought of this because I'm like, well... What if we actually didn't get a 10 for a while? Um, basically, as soon as someone on the board gets a star, that means we won the challenge. So, yeah, I guess that, that'll be, like, the goal. I think that's actually a good goal to have. And it's going to be hard to do because, I mean, it's a 1 in 10 chance every single time someone rolls. That's a lot of rolls. So, I mean, I don't know. It's pretty unlikely anyone's going to get a star, but it's a chance. So far, we're looking pretty good. One's getting nice low rolls. Ba, 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 da, ba. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, but you know what? I do like the idea of trying to get one star before rolling a 10. So I think if that were to ever happen, we'll also switch games at that point. But also, also, I'm always going to play as Mario, just so you know who I always am. But we got to have Waluigi on the board as well as Daisy because they're new characters and DK. Dude, I honestly love the classic Mario parties. Like, they didn't have the technology to make 3D boards, so they just straight up drew them. This is all just 2D drawings. It doesn't look that great, but there's something so charming about it. Anyway, let's just not get a 10. I want to get a star. 5, 1, 7, 3. Okay, good start. Where is oh, that's not that far. Okay, I think we have a chance at this. Here we go. Let's not get that 10, baby. Okay, 8. Dude, I honestly, I am not very used to this board. I don't even know what makes the most sense. So the star is over here. So I think I want to go this way. Maybe I want to go left, though? I'm going to try going left and see what, I can, what happens. Let's talk to Toad. Oh, it's an item game. Okay. All right, Dong. Nice and low, baby. There. Oh, my God. Why is everyone getting nines? All right. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. At least we're all really poor together, right? That's a good thing. Okay. So far, so good, though. We're, what, what, turn four? This is good. I think someone's actually... Like, I don't even care who gets the star at this point. It doesn't even matter to me. You know what? That might actually be good. I don't know why I did that, actually. I have, like, no money. I shouldn't have spent money. And now I'm going to get run over by the thwomp, so there's that too. Okay. So Deke, I think Deke is going to get a star, which means we're actually going to win. Oh no, we have to go through a whole turn now. Oh my god. We might actually complete this challenge. Someone gets a star. Uh, all that has to happen is me, Daisy, and Deke, if, as long as we don't get a 10 next turn, we're going to complete the challenge. Okay, please don't get a 10. 
Please don't do it. Yes, five. Okay, four. Don't get a six. Do not get a six. Yes, okay. All right, DK, this is it. Just don't get a ten. And we got this. Are you serious? That doesn't count. We got the ten first. Oh, my God. That was some bull crap. Like, honestly, how the hell did we not win that time? That was some BS. Okay, here we go. It's our first attempt. Don't get a 10, fellas. Three, four, six, one. Okay. We're on the board. Let's get ourselves a staff. Okay. That's a little far away, but I have confidence. We got really far in Mario Party 3. It was literally down to the last roll. So, this time, okay, starting with a three, that's fine. I think really the strategy here, or the hope, is that we keep getting high rolls, just not 10. So we, not that. We want things like seven, eight, nine. That's gonna get us to the star faster. Um, so that's just what I'm hoping for. Like that, that's exactly what we want, is a nine. Eights and nines are really good. Okay, let's avoid those tens, baby. Yes, that's what I like to see. Okay, honestly, you know what? We're not gonna do it. I don't think it's worth it because we're gonna get even closer. But here's, okay, here's what we wanna do, actually. How much do I wanna do? Uh, I mean, 20 would make it basically guaranteed that I would get to the star, but then I'll have no coins. But it's gonna take me a while to get to the star anyway. So let's do the 20 coins. We're gonna sacrifice them because I'll still have two turns to win mini games to get coins for a star and therefore win this challenge. All right, Waluigi. Okay, set, don't get a three. Here's the good news. Mega and Mini Mushrooms are not nearly as common in Mario Party 5, so I feel like there is a bit more of a chance this time, hopefully. Okay, here we go. No 10s, baby. Let's go. One, six, five, eight. Okay, that was like almost the same as last time. Yeah, where, where is Donkey Kong? That's right. This is the game where he started getting DK spaces. All right, fellas. That star's a little far away, but you know what? No Megas and Minis this time. We're not going to screw over by that. So, at this point, really, it's just not rolling the 10. All right, Koopa Kid. We got ourselves a 5. Very nice. Yo, we're going... Dude, that star is so far away. I'm not going to lie. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't have picked this map. I think next time I do this challenge, I'm not picking this map. This map... Like, if the star is really going to spawn at the opposite side, that's going to make this so difficult. Okay. Okay, 3. I'll take a 3, I guess. I'll talk to the capsule. This Honestly, this guy is kind of creepy. Not gonna lie, if I saw that in my nightmares, I would wake up terrified. All right, Toad. So now we have hit our first really bizarre hurdle, and that is Mario Party Advance. Because um, there are no stars to collect. The whole point of the game is just completing side quests. There's 50 of them in this game. Um, so I think what we're gonna do is try to complete one side quest before we reach, uh, before we roll a 10, I mean. And I think there's 10s in this game. Let me just double check, are there 10s? Yes, then you can definitely roll a 10. So yeah, I have to complete a side quest. Well, back to something a little bit more normal. Mario Party 6 with one new character, so I, I guess that's nice. Now, if you're not familiar with Mario Party 3, what's cool about this one is there's a day and night cycle. So every three turns, um, basically it's gonna change from day to night time, and that changes how the board plays. So hopefully, okay, no tens there. Hopefully we'll be able to get to the star despite the board changes and just having good luck. That does not seem that bad. I think that's more feasible than at least Mario Party 5. Okay, good one. That's what I like to see. All right, Koopa Kid, let's go. Five, very nice, very nice. Toadette, new character, very good. Okay, yeah, we are not that far from the star. I think we have a feasible chance at this. As long as you don't get bad luck with the dice rolls, we have a feasible chance at this. All right, Luigi. Okay, oh my, you are really pushing those buttons, mister. My God, this is such a freaking gamble. Oh my God, she is getting really close. You know what? I want her to win the minigame, actually. So she can have enough to buy a star. Okay, three. Stop. No. Wait, wait a minute. 18, she won! Yes, we did it! We somehow did it! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, here we go. All we gotta do now is get the star. Just get to the star. As long as we don't get a 10, we have a good shot at this. Don't you dare do it. Okay, yes! 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 We did it! We did it! We won a star! That felt good. 
actually having some form of success for any of these challenges is freaking awesome. Okay, here we go. Uh, six, three, two, and... You know, that was bound to happen at some point where at the very beginning we roll a 10. I'm actually kind of surprised that it only just happened now. We'll keep all that stuff. And obviously, we got to go with Koopa's Tycoon Town. We're just going to pick that board every time because that board's freaking sick. Actually, another good reason to pick this board, I just realized this, is that it's going to be super easy to get just one star from a building. Okay, like, literally, we just need 10 coins to invest into a building and we get a star. This is going to be so easy. Going to invest all the money. Okay. And I think I get a star from this. Let's go. Come on. So I'm talking about, baby. This is it. This is the final classic Mario Party game, Mario Party DS. And uh, it's always been one of my personal favorites. It's, it's such a good one. You know, and no one ever talks about it. It's such a good Mario Party game. It's still unbelievable just how freaking awesome this game is. Also, I just realized this is going to be a little... This whole setup is going to be a little weird with the, the screen being on the bottom. There we go. That's much better. Now you can actually see the game. Hopefully we don't get a 10 here. So this is where things are going to get really interesting. Mario Party Advance kind of, you know, threw us a little bit of a loop. But Mario Party 9, I actually don't think there is a dice roll of 10. Now, with that said... Um... That might not matter. We might still be able to get rolls of 10 theoretically. And I like all these new characters, by the way. I don't know. Let's go with DK's jungle. Because DK looks happy. I kind of have to figure this out as we go. For this for this first game, anyway. For this first, like, video series. So let's just go ahead and play this for a little bit. And we'll kind of figure things out. Because the goal might be we want to, like, get to a certain, you know, banana count. Like, whoever gets the 31st. Like, the goal is to get to 30, maybe? So, I just checked the wiki. There is a chance that we can roll a 10, believe it or not. So, there is a 1 through 10 dice block that we can roll. Uh, but we have to get that item. So, here's what we're going to do. Because I feel like this is the best option that we can do. We, If we can make it entirely around the board one time, we win. If we get this numbered dice block, if any of us get it and we roll a 10, then the game is over. So, basically, this is super rigged to be in our favor. But I don't really know what else to do. So yeah, we're about halfway through, which is good. I guess next time I do this video, I'll have to pick like a number between 1 and 6. That might make more sense. But it's like, I want to do numbers 1 through 10, eventually. Okay, nice 6. That's really good. I don't think I'm going to be getting my hand... Yeah. This is going to be another really weird game to play because, again, the dice rolls are 1 through 6, but... With this map, as well as one other map, we can um, we can get dice blocks, which could theoretically take our rules to 10. So the objective for winning, honestly, I don't really know yet. Again, we're figuring this out as we go. Okay, so bonus dice blocks. This is what I was talking about. So if we get first place in a minigame, uh, we, we're awarded a gold dice block that rolls 1 through 6. And if, I believe that's like an additional dice block on top of what we already get. So that would allow us to, you know, potentially get... A 10. Maybe like getting past the Goombas. Maybe that should be the goal. Because I don't really want to play the entire game. I really don't. That, 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 like, that wouldn't make sense for the pacing of these videos. It's faster paced for these videos, so. So for this board, we have to get past the Goombas to win. That's like halfway. Ooh, a Dash Mushroom. Okay, adds three to your roll. That actually doesn't matter at all. Even if she got a six, that would still only be a nine. Okay, so let's see. So I, I, so I guess I got the bonus. Uh, your next roll will be one to six points higher. Okay, so that's what I was thinking. Okay, throw the stylus. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the stylus. All right, you know what? I'll throw the blocks. I'm gonna do a little bit of a shaking. Good old shaking. Come on, baby. Five and four. Oh, it was so close. It was almost a ten. A little longer than a few minutes later. But the good news is we are almost at the Goomba. So that that's awesome. Hopefully we actually go through it and don't have to go around and take the little like lava area i could use an item to really get heated well let me tell you what i'm going with this again because uh i really want that 10 baby come on six and four three and come on i got nine again oh my god I, at least i have a chance at finishing this at least winning uh looks like the road splits here which way will you go it all comes down to luck well Onto the worst Mario Party, and we are going to do Bowser Party because this is probably the only chance we're going to get 
of getting a 10. So the rules for this one is, again, if Bowser gets a 10, the game is over. And the objective is to basically just beat Bowser. So we lose by either losing to Bowser or we get roll 10. So, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get started with that. Right, so par usual, of course, uh, pretty much none of the characters are going to be able to roll a 10. I think unless they get specific dice blocks to add spaces. But uh, for the most part, you know, like I said, it's got to be Bowser that rolls the 10 because he actually gets a lot of rolls compared to everyone else. All right, here we go. We finally get to try this out. Let's see what we get. That is a 6, 3, 2. That's 16. Oh, my God damn. That's ridiculous. All right. Let's see if I can avoid that 10. Here we go. 1, 1, 3, 3. I think that is an 8. Yes, let's freaking go. Okay, I think I'm still going to catch them, too. Maybe. Or they're... Oh, I don't know. Actually, I think they're safe. Yeah, they're safe. Okay, well, they lucked out. But you know what? I'll catch them. Does that mean I get more dice? No? I don't know what that means. Maybe I'm, like, more powerful now. Okay. Oh, my God! 24! Let's just uh, eliminate you. Eliminate Yoshi, and... That's it. I have officially won the challenge for Mario Party 10. Now on to Mario Party Star Rush. This game is even more different than Island Tour, but it's actually better. So we can really pick between Toad Scramble and Balloon Bash, because with Toad Scramble, there is a way to roll a 10 by picking a uh, DK as an ally, but the odds of that happening is super small. So I, and also, Getting stars there isn't really a thing, so I figured let's go with Balloon Bash because there's star balloons we can collect. And on top of that, there's also Balloon Bash items like the Dash Mushroom or Golden Dash Mushroom that could allow us to roll a 10. So it is feasibly possible to roll one, but again, all that has to happen is one of us has to grab a star balloon to win. So they usually spawn, I think they spawn after what, like a few turns? Um, and you just need 10 coins too, so okay. The star balloon should spawn. There it is, okay. So that's it, if we get to it without rolling a 10, then we win. And the odds, like I said, are very, very high. Okay. Well, none of us rolled a 10. And there you have it, we have won, just like that. Mario Party, the top 100. It's the Mario Party that should have been great, but somehow they messed it up with, you know, this one board. That's it. We got one board to work with here. Hey, that's nice, though. We start with coins this time compared to Star Wars, where you just have zero. Look at this. Look how close I'm going to be already. Well, same with Luigi, too. He's going to be close as well. I got a stamp. Very fancy. And we got a four. Very nice. Boom. And now we're on to our final game, Super Mario Party. And finally, after all of those weird modern Mario parties, we're at a point where things are going to be a little bit back to normal. So the dice rolls are still not one through six, but at the same time, it's very easy to get ally spaces. And that will make it slightly more likely for us to potentially roll a 10. Obviously, we want to try to get a start before that happens, but at least things are going to slightly go back to normal. I'm probably going to stick with the normal dice block just because there is a slightly higher chance of getting to the star faster. Okay, well, I would have probably gotten it with the Mario dice block too, but yeah, I mean, the odds of getting a 4, 5, and 6 are relatively good. About 50% shot. Wario. Wario. Okay, so he has a good chance of getting 6s. That's good. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Okay. So, uh, Luigi just got the golden pipe for free. So, I think no matter what, next turn, uh, the game's gonna end and we're gonna win. Luigi still doesn't use his gold pipe. Why? Okay, well, he got the roll, assuming he doesn't go down. Wow. I still... Why didn't he use his pipe? Either way, we managed to complete Super Mario Party. We did the challenge before rolling a 10. And, uh, that is pretty much that.